Austin ISD trustees are still working to cut nearly $4 billion in what they say are needed upgrades to the district schools, down to $900 million bond package that they're, they're going to ask voters to pay for. The district has to do this in order to come up with that bond election package. KXN's George Rodas joins us live with what the district is talking about later on today with a two-hour discussion. Good morning, George. Yeah, good morning. The board and trustees will be talking about that tonight, and they have a tall task ahead of them. They've got to consider how to make changes to all the needs in the district while also bringing that total bond package down, the cost down, to a number voters will agree with if they go ahead for this November bond election. Now, again, today they hear the summary of the bond plan. That has over a billion and a half dollars worth of projects and upgrades the facilities and bond planning advisory committee has been building. They're not voting on approving the bond package tonight. Tonight is a work session where they'll be presented with the bond package and talk about it. Now that bond summary is pretty extensive. By far the largest item on that list is titled critical facilities deficiencies, projects to upgrade, renovate and fix existing schools the committee deemed need the work. That item alone is penciled in at a cost of over $100 million, $188 million, that is. Then you go school by school, and you see projects for full modernization of Brentwood Elementary and Martin Middle Schools. Those two projects together slated to cost roughly $100 million. There are upgrades to the district's transportation, new buses totaling more than $25 million, and a long list of other projects. Now, again, no vote tonight. That's not expected until at least the 19th of June. That meeting will be at 5.30 tonight. Back to you. George, thank you. Let's go in depth on this because they need to get that number down. And it's a really big challenge when you come to think about what the group had to do. They had to get all the information and the suggestions from parents and teachers, and they identified $3.9 billion in upgrades that are needed for Austin schools. And the last time AISD had a bond election was nearly four years ago. They were asking for nearly $900 million. The district estimated at that time it would raise property taxes on a $300,000 home, about $100 a year. Voters only approved two of the propositions, though. The majority of the money went to repairs and renovations at aging schools. It included replacing old air conditioning, plumbing, and fixing some leaky roofs as well at some Austin schools. And T.A. Brown had a whole lot of damage as well, damage that was beyond repair, and so AISD had to just close that school, shut it down. It showed a, a report from engineers that there were structural safety problems with that school. More on KXAN.com.